We will be uh, deeply diving, we will be diving deep into the world of chemistry. We will be discussing the new sub-concepts of atomic structure. So get ready to embark on a thrilling exploration of our concepts of atomic structure. So without wasting our precious time, let's just dive in. Before diving in, by the way, uh, let me just show you a glimpse of the syllabus. So you, uh, you have seen here that already we have discussed the first five points. And in today's video, our main focus will be on the sixth point that how we can calculate, how we can determine the number of protons, neutrons and electrons in both atoms and ions, given some information about that, particularly that specific atom or ion. That is a proton number, or atomic number, and the mass number or the nuclear number and the charge. So let's just jump into the topic. So as you can suggest by the video's thumbnail, the title and title of the presentation that the concept that we have chosen in our today's video discussion is about determining subatomic structure. Hopefully we will be covering the sixth point in today's video. Let's go further. Now here you can see determining the subatomic structure of atoms and ions. Now, already from our previous videos, we know that an atom is neutral and overall it has no charge. So, what is the reason why the atom is neutral? Since it is having equal number of protons and electrons, those protons are positively charged and electrons are negatively charged. And these electrons, these negative charges and positive charges are cancelling each other out, which is leading to an overall zero charge. Hence, an atom is neutral. If you talk about ions, on the other hand, they are formed when these neutral atoms they are either gaining or losing electrons remember ions have nothing to do with the, the protons or the neutrons it's only the electrons that are taking part in chemical reactions and that's why they are being lost or, or they are being gained and this loss or gain of electrons is causing the atoms to become charged and hence they become ions now, the number of subatomic particles in atoms and ions can be determined with three things if they are given. First one is the atomic or the proton number. Second one is the mass or the nucleon number. And the third one is the charge. Alright, let's talk about protons first. Now we know already from our previous videos that the atomic number of an atom and ion determines which element it is. Basically, it is the fingerprint of the atom, which tells you how many protons or electrons are present in the atom. Therefore, all atoms and ions of the same element have the same number of protons. Okay, so if you talk about whether it is ion or whether it is an atom of the same element, it may be lithium atom or maybe lithium two plus or plus or three plus ion, it depends it will be having the same number of protons in the nucleus and how we will know the number of protons we will know it from the atomic number remember when we are talking about ions it is only the electrons that are being that are different to the number of protons when we are talking about a neutral atom or an ion the protons and the neutrons they have nothing to do with the charge on that specific ion or the atom now here we have an example that neutral lithium atom has an atomic number of 3 which proves that it has 3 protons whereas beryllium has an atomic number of 4 which means it has 4 protons and this uh, proves the point this comes from the fact that the number of protons always it is equal to the atomic or the proton number. Now if, there are, if you are asked in case to calculate the number of protons of an unknown element you will use two things its mass number firstly and the number of neutrons. So we have an equation for that mass number equals number of protons plus number of neutrons because the mass of an atom is always concentrated in its nucleus which contains the two heaviest subatomic particles 
the protons and neutrons. Electrons, their mass is negligible, so they have nothing to do with the mass. So we can rearrange the, this equation to find the number of protons. Number of protons will be equal to mass number minus number of neutrons. This one will go to this side and hence it will become subtraction. So mass minus number of neutrons will give you the number of protons. Let's go further. Here we have some worked examples where we are asked to determine the number of protons of the following ions and atoms. The first one is an N2 plus ion, then we have carbon atom and then we have an unknown atom of element X given mass number and the number of neutrons. So firstly, let's calculate the magnesium 2 plus ion. Now, as I told you before, the protons, the number of protons has nothing to do with the charge of the ion. So we will just see, we will just refer to the atomic number of magnesium atom and that will tell us directly the number of protons present in it. Now the atomic number of magnesium atom is 12 and it's very straightforward that it is suggesting that the number of protons in the magnesium element is 12. Therefore, the number of protons in a Mg2 plus ion is also 12. You can see here clearly the number of uh, the charge is not affecting the number of protons. It's only affecting the number of electrons. Remember that. Now, answer to the atomic number of a carbon atom is 6. Now, if you check in your periodic table, you will also see that uh, in the periodic table, the carbon atom's atomic number is 6, which is proving, which is suggesting that the carbon atom is having 6 protons in its nucleus. And the answer to the third question is we are using the formula to calculate the number of protons in that unknown element X. So we will just uh, use the rearranged equation in the previous slide. The number of protons equals mass number minus number of neutrons. You put in the values and you get the answer. 63 minus 34 is 29. And if you check the periodic table and you see uh, which element is having the atomic number of 29 and therefore it is copper. Let's go further. Electrons. About electrons, an atom is neutral. Already discussed why it is neutral because it is having equal number of positive and negative charges, protons and electrons, which are canceling each other out, and therefore it is making it overall zero charge. Ions, if you compare to the neutral atoms, you will see that they have a different number of electrons to their atomic number depending on their charge. Now, there are two kinds of charges, there are two kinds of ions. One is the positively charged ion and second is the negatively charged ion. Now when you talk about the positively charged ion, you will see that a positively charged ion, always it is losing electrons. Remember, always it is losing electrons. And therefore from this we understand that the positively charged ion has fewer electrons compared to the protons. And negatively charged ion, if you talk about that, you will see it will be it is gaining electrons, opposite of the opposite of positively charged ion. So this means it will be having more electrons compared to the protons. Let's go to the question side. Now it is asking you again to for the same elements, for the same uh, atoms and ions, the number of electrons. The question is a difference is that it is in the previous question it was asking you to calculate the number of protons, but here we are asked to calculate the number of electrons. So now again we have the same questions that is Mg2 plus ion carbon atom and the unknown atom of element X. Mass number and neutrons are given. Let's see the answer to these questions. Firstly, let's check for the magnesium 2 plus ion. Now, here they are asking you to calculate the number of electrons. Caref be careful here. Now, we know that answer 1, the atomic number of a magnesium atom is 12 suggesting that the number of protons in the neutral magnesium atom is 12. But remember, this number of protons is for the neutral magnesium atom. Now, if you check the, the charge on the magnesium ion, you will see that it's 2 plus. However, the 2 plus charge in magnesium 2 plus ion, what it is suggesting? It is suggesting that this positively charged ion, already we discussed the definition of that, that was, it means a positively charged ion is losing electron, and the number is the number of electrons which indicates how many electrons are being lost or gained. So in this case of magnesium 2 plus ion, it is uh, losing 2 electrons. So this means a neutral magnesium atom has 12 electrons in its original form. When it becomes an ion, it will lose. When it becomes an Mg2 plus ion, it will lose that 2 electrons and it will be having 10 electrons left now. So this means electrons in magnesium 2 plus ion will be 12 now, 10 now, sorry. 
Answer 2 is the atomic number of carbon atom is 6. It's the neutral at carbon atom, so it's very straightforward. The neutral carbon atom has equal number of protons and electrons, so this means it will also have 6 electrons orbiting around the nucleus. Answer 3, the number of protons. Let's calculate first the, the, the number of protons, the equation that we have, the mass number minus number, the number of neutrons. Substitute in the value 63 minus 34, you get the answer as 29. This means that the neutral atom of element X therefore also has 29 electrons. Let's go further now. Once again. Yeah. Now, now if you talk about the neutrons, uh, there are two things which are required to calculate the number of neutrons in atoms or ions. Those are the mass and the atomic numbers. Now already we discussed the symbols, mass number has the symbol of A and the number of and the protons or the atomic number has the symbol Z. When you subtract mass number A minus number of number of protons Z or the atomic number Z, you can get the number of neutrons very easily. Now again the same questions we have, uh, so it would be simple, nothing to do with the electrons, so you can just use their original uh, mass number and the atomic number. Now for magnesium atom. In this case, when you are asked to calculate the number of neutrons, you should know two things, mass number and the atomic number. So you just write the equation, number of neutrons equals mass number A minus number of protons Z. You are just rearranging the equation for mass number equals number of protons plus number of neutrons. And then you rearrange the equation again, uh, you rearrange this equation into number of neutrons equals mass number A minus number of protons Z. You substitute in the values and you get the answer 24 minus 12 from the periodic table and you get the value of 12 which means it is having 12, elect 12 neutrons in its nucleus and this neutron has nothing to do with the charge on the ion because the charge only affects the number of electrons. Now the answer to we have the atomic number of carbon atom. They are asking you to calculate the number of neutrons inside the carbon atom. We know that atomic number of a carbon atom is 6 and its mass number is 12. Now if you you'd again take the equation number of neutrons equals mass number A minus number of proton Z, you substitute in the values 12 minus 6, you get 6. This means it is having 6 neutrons in its nucleus. Uh, answer 3 is asking about an element X and a known element which is having uh, atomic number 29 and mass number 63. So already they have given you the atomic number and mass number. You just substitute these values. Uh, in their respective positions. So mass number is 63 minus number of protons is that's the atomic number That's 29 and you get the number of neutrons equals 34 Therefore the neural atom of element X has 34 neutrons in its nucleus and with this we are done with uh, the sixth point of the syllabus of the particles in the atom and atomic radius in the next video we will be discussing the last point of our 1.1.1 point one, 1.1 sorry uh, that will be at our, about atomic and ionic radius. So stay tuned for that. Make sure to subscribe our channel. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. Hit the like button. Comment down below. Leave the comment down below. Uh, and if you have any queries regard to the concepts that I have discussed in our previous video or in today's video, or um, you are feeling difficulty in any other topic, make sure you mention uh, it in in down the comments. Uh, I'm always reading the comments and press the bell icon share the videos with your uh, fellow classmates or fellow uh, friends and uh, that's it for today's video i'll be meeting you in the next video till then take care